frags just yet, but Shock finds crew, and the Earth Shatter comes in. It's massive! Paragon showing us it's his turf! White's now and the full spot! For Krabb ends up getting the double kill there in the back line. Up there, they want to take off. Oh, goodness, here comes the Blizzard! Gonna look to get the inside. And then the sleep, though, in the nade in, and they don't even need a single ult here to win it other than Shatter. And Kavat taking out Sosher there from a mile away. The upgrade taking a big look. That's the long one. Oh, but... And Paragon with another Shatter! That's so three yeah, and Shatters! And getting that in the back. This may be possible. It could be. It really could be the boom. Oh! Welcome to season three. Welcome to season three. Welcome to season three. Welcome to season three. Welcome to season three of the Rose Cup. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another amazing match at. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another amazing match here at the Rose Cup. I am your play-by-play -play for the evening, and Captain Jack joined with Temporal on the color roll tonight. How are you doing, Temporal? I'm excited to be here, Jack. Um, looking at these two teams, uh, Supernova and Night Ops, they're very, um, very we've, I guess, looking at, just looking at their, their status in their division at the moment, of course, they're in the Diamond Division. Uh, sorry, they're in the diamond tournament in yep. their own division but they, i don't know where i'm going with this but they're very evenly matched at the moment night top sitting at sixth on a 4-3 win record whereas adm supernova is um sitting one place above them on fifth with a two so i'm really looking oh. forward to seeing these teams play tonight well what it's really going to come down to is kind of the balance between uh the two teams and i guess uh producer we're going to go ahead and skip the introduction because they're throwing us right into nepal <laughs> to go ahead and start things off here <laughs> you've got 40 seconds to do intro yeah go. i don't think i'm going to be able to pull that off i'm fast i ain't that fast so. <laughs> but uh looking at the teams that we've got uh coming in for this match uh, it looks like they are very evenly uh spaced out now we are in week 10 and as you know um we have two more weeks of the regular season and then we're straight into the playoffs so uh this is really going to be one of those make or break matches that's kind of what we're coming to now is those that are kind of sitting in uh, the middle of their uh of their rankings are really going to have to be du duking it out in these last couple of games to be able to solidify their spots within the playoffs and this i believe is probably going to be one of those matches for the side of um for the side of night ops we've got natham and solitude coming in on the double shield composition with the sigma orisa with the uh reaper and may for moose and um uh, for moose and sad widow main jar and nautica also coming in on that moira and lucio we are going to see the ryan zarya comp come out though for the side of supernova Ooh. with lobo and violet on that ryan zarya guardian madden stag on the doomfist and may and asleep and destin divine on the moira and lucio and we've already got those picks coming in as we see solitude getting that early pick uh onto lobo i believe as we see them now moving into the objective we're gonna see that hit come in from Moose, ends up taking Violet out of the match right there. It is a four v six fight. Sad Widowmane and Jar looking to see if they can clean up those final kills, end up getting a double. Moose following up on Stag, and that's going to give control of the objective to Night Off. Yeah, and so we saw ADM get in there a bit quicker. They got the position on the point, but unfortunately the Night Ops just overwhelmed them with damage, taking down Lobo straight away, put them at that disadvantage. You lose, you lose the Zarya, lose the bubble, and from there it was just a just a matter of attrition for Night Ops. All they had to do is Ooh. pile in the damage. Ooh. That Maywall is going to actually separate out the team. Thankfully, they, they didn't end up pushing in on that, so they weren't able to utilize that to their advantage. Cool, let's Ooh, coming out. For Jaw, Jar, the Maywall now coming up, looking to see if they can push that in. Violet following up on to Sad Widow Main as Nautica ends up taking down Violet in return. And it looks like they might be able to pull this off if they continue to move in. Gravitic Flux Ooh. coming out from Solitude, but we're going to see Stag come in with the Meteor Strike, trying to see if they can escape that. Will be successful. Stag able to take down Solitude, but Moose. Gonna follow up onto Stag is a 
three v three fight on the objective makes that two v three is violet getting the fire strike on to moose it's a continued fight on the objective as we see nautica and uh sad widow main oh well until then trying to hold on to that objective and it looks like they're going to be able to do so but the trickle <laughs> continuing to come in from night <laughs> off is going to hold on to that just a little bit longer eight percent and climbing now for the side of supernova to 64 percent for night ops yeah great stall from night ops there Naut nautica and i think it was sad widow man was able to survive a long time there um, and then, that, of course, that gave them time for Nathan to get back as well. And that just gave them that little bit of extra percentage. And they put themselves about two fights away from taking it out. So you see what they're running into? They're running into three ultimates, especially that Blizzard from ADM Supernova. All right. Well, getting back into the action, the Blizzard Ore coming out from both Guardian Mad and Sad Widow main. But it looks like the cleanup is going to come in on the side of ADM Supernova as they go ahead and clear the objective 45% and climbing. Yeah, that was that was rough for Supernova. Like I said, they had the Blizzard going in, but then Sad Widow Man was able to throw in their own, and Night Ops just had the, play, the right players there to get a much greater benefit from their own Blizzard. And look at them. Oh, what am I saying? So I've got that confused. Bad shatter, at, but the Blossom going in the back line takes down Destin Divine. He drops coming in at, with Coalescence from Jar and Nautica, and that's going to allow Night Ops to go ahead and clear the objective of all Supernova. 74% for Supernova, 67% and climbing as Night Ops takes control. Yeah, that was big. That was a very convincing fight for Night Ops there. You see, both teams now, the only ultimate on the field is that Graviton from Lobo, and they're going to have to make a good use of it in this coming fight. There's only about one, maybe two fights if they're lucky left, and that wall won't make life any easier for Supernova yeah, trying to get in. Kind of, I was kind of surprised on that one. We've seen the tackle coming in from Violet, allows them to go ahead and take down Nathan, but Moose and Sad Widowmane working in that back line ends up getting a double. It is a trade one for one for one for one for one for one. The Gravitic Flux ends up coming out, ends up taking down the rest of the team. Overtime going to take away right now as we see Night Ops take objective one, 100 to 74%. Yeah, very a very close round there from both teams. I think Night Ops just having the advantage in that they they started with the point capture and they had that extra percentage at the start. That great stall that got them up to the original sixty five percent or whatever they had put them in a great position. To, they only need to win one or two fights coming back in, maybe just one fight. Sorry, coming back in to finish off that round. So great work from them there. We'll see if ADM wants to change it up a bit here. We do see Guardian Mad has uh, swapped over onto the Pharah. There you go. ADM Supernova running a farm, choosing to run a pharmacy here. It's something we're seeing a bit more of these days uh, with the recent patch changes. Yes, it is incredibly interesting. Stag also swapping over to that Tracer as Violet and Lobo coming in on the dive comp of Winston and Hammond, which is not uh, typical. Well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's not it typically what most people see. I <laughs> like to play Hammond on this map. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Uh, Sad Window main though, swapping over to that Doomfist uh, might end up losing out, uh, but will end up getting that punch kill onto Stag to start things off. Nathan following up onto a sleep right there as we go ahead and see Night Ops take control of the objective and start that percentage climb. Guardian Mad going to be able uh, to pick off Jar right there at the end, but uh, is going to retreat to the safety of the team. Yeah, we do see some swaps coming through from Supernova. They're wanting to run that double shield comp of their own. They're seeing the dive. Look, the dive's not quite working there. It's very difficult to run it into double shield, especially having practice. So now they'll... Oh, oh wow, what a barrage. The barrage comes out from Guardian Mad. Ends up taking down Natham as well as Lobo Shield. Uh, look at it, or sorry, as well as Solitude Shield. But we're going to see both Violet and Lobo end up getting taken out in return as we see sad widow main in that back line looking to see if they can pull off a pick stag gonna end up falling to moose as night ops continues to hold their control of the objective 40 percent oh, oh, oh. and climbing got in just able to get away with their lives there yeah we saw that barrage come in it's a great start but unfortunately not ops just a bit too coordinated there able to mostly hide behind the pillar in the middle and then once the barrage is over they came out and smacked down the tank line of supernova I, I was just kind of surprised the direction that Guardian Mad took with that barrage. 
It was just so surprising to see them just like full fledged right in front of Sigma, <laughs> who could totally put up that shield right in your face and then just kill you <laughs> with your own barrage. That was the surprise to me. The B drop comes in along oh, with the Blossom. Nurse. Ends up getting a quadruple kill between the Blossom and the Meteor Strike of Moose and Sad Widow Main. That's going to clear the objective once again of ever, well, including the Farah right there. Is Sad Widow Main just able to get that final shot in before Guardian Mad could escape? 86% and climbing right now. And one more fight remaining for Supernova to take the objective. Yeah, and they haven't got much to work with. All they've got is that Barrage Valkyrie combination, whereas you see Night Ops gonna have the Coalescence, they're gonna have the Supercharger as well, which will be, make it very easy for them to fight off. Uh, well, Supernova. Let's see if they can make it happen. The Rez <laughs> coming in right now onto Lobo as Guardian Ooh. Mad taking down Nautica Stag, following up on Moose and Nathan there as well. And it looks like this may be exactly what they need to pull it off. Just the coordination of the shields just worked out in their favor. They're going to end up taking control of the objective 5% and climbing to the 99% of Night Ops. Yeah, the supports on AD, um, Supernova, they're doing a great job keeping Guardian Mad alive. They invested the barrage and they're able to take out the Supercharger, which denied a lot of damage coming from Night Ops. And now they've got the Farrah in the air on defense. Uh, I think I feel like Guardian will have a, a little better Woo! time ooh, stopping the Night see that pull and that uppercut. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Ended up getting four in that. I'm surprised nobody ended up getting picked off of that. But the percentage well, climb still continuing. 30% and climbing right now as they try to fight their way in. Stag going to take down Moose, who's trying to work in their back line. Coalescence now coming out from asleep, trying to push the team back, but not watching out for Sad Widow main behind. Might put them <laughs> in a bad position. Guardian Mad going to follow up on that. Take Sad Widow main out of the action. That's going to be 50% and climbing right now for the side of Supernova as they look to tie up the score. We'll see if Night Ops wants to change anything up here. They've got a few ultimates available to them, but they're finding it very difficult to deal with Guardian Mad. Guardian can just swap, um, as, as they come through this choke point, Guardian can just float over the building and Rainy Rockles from behind. Then we see Sad Widow main go in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, rabbinic fluxes, bam, bam. meteor strikes, <laughs> uh, coalescences. I can't even call <laughs> all this action out right now, but it is mostly coming up red if they can keep it going. Sad Widow Main getting buffed by Nautica's beat drop, trying to hold them in the fight, but Violet gonna take Jar out of the fight. Sad Widow Main able to follow up on that, um, on that bongo from Violet, not gonna be able to take them out just yet as solitude now coming in as the hammond looking to see if they can boop some people out of the way said widow main and moose doing as dps do getting picked after oh, pick moose. Right now. bongos now coming out for nathan as they now are 99 and 99 this is what it comes down to folks it's going to swap over to control for night ops as they try to get into the objective but the blossom coming out from moose is going to prevent wow. them from moving any further forward than they can night ops gonna take away this first match and as you can see it's gonna be a close one tonight it will indeed and unfortunately for supernova there they just weren't able to clean up that last fight if if they'd have done that they stopped the if they cleaned it up so they weren't able to clean up that last fight it allowed the reinforcement from night ops to get back we saw them come in um and then i believe it was uh night Moose, sorry, it was able to get that triple kill at the very end there, which put, I guess, put the nail in the coffin for ADM mm -hmm. Supernova and allowed Night Ops to take the map. Nope, that really ended up shutting them down. And that's why the the balance in the match is so important to, uh, to get control of that objective early. Because when you have to go for those long hauls from zero to 99% without like screwing up once, you give the other team so much time to build up an ultimate advantage, and that's exactly what we ended up seeing here. Night Ops was able to take the time to be able to build up those ultimates so that even, even if they ended up losing like a partial bit of the fight, they had those ultimates to be able to rely on. Nautica ended up popping out the uh the beat drop while other people were coming. Uh, other people that died were coming back into the fight, and then Moose kind of solidifying things that uh, ended up getting them the Blossom by the end, just ended up shutting everything down for that map. So looking in the chat, 
looks like uh, I guess we didn't really explain that at the beginning. So ADM stands for Andromeda. Andromeda Supernova is one of the uh, Andromeda teams that are part of the Rose Cup for the season. So be sure to check uh, out all their action that will be going on with this team tonight, as well as some of the other teams that we do have in our organization. It looks like Black Glasses MK saying, let's go Night Ops. So we're getting some love for either side tonight for both Andromeda and Night Ops. So go ahead and start blowing up in the chat who y'all want to see take it away. It looks like our next map is going to be Temple of Anubis, which we don't get to see very often. Uh, I can't no, say that I've seen it at all the, the yeah. second half yet. Uh, I know that it's been in the rotation, but I, I have yet to see a team pick it. So um, this should be really interesting. Um, do you? I haven't had a chance to look at any of the recent notes that the recent patch notes that have come out. Uh, what kind of changes have we seen uh, in the characters that may be playing tonight? Uh, we've seen, uh, particularly for the double shield tanks, the Orisa and the Sigma. We've seen their their cooldowns on their shields be increased. So Sigma now can't instantly redeploy his shield. He's got a one second delay, and when you recall it, you have to wait a second before you can redeploy it. That makes it. That makes it, um, Sigma, I guess, a bit slower, and it gives you a bit of a, a little, tiny little window. If you're able to get around him, he can't instantly block you off. Mm -hmm. Arista's shield as well had its shield, uh, the, the timer increased, so I think, 10-second cooldown now. To, I think that was, I guess, Blizzard making those changes to stop the... Stop that double the, shield uh, meta. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, they've tried. Team's, team's still willing to run it. It's still, I think it's a bit of a learning process as well. So we, when we see patches like that come in you do see teams sticking on to the old meta for a little bit because it's it's what you practice and you haven't had enough time or um oh yeah you haven't had enough time to practice a different meta though we are seeing some changes come in though we're seeing what? um a little bit more variance in dps it's not always doomfist maori but we're seeing a lot of pharmacy and on some maps i'm seeing a lot of bastion as well which i'm liking both on attack and defense in some cases oh that's incredibly interesting right there um so yeah Stop that bastion anubis that, uh, i mean that that's almost like a bastion hometown right here uh setting up that bastion on defense it will be interesting to see if uh they end up picking it for the defense but i i i definitely agree with those changes like it reminds me of the change that they made to uh, uh diva's defense matrix uh which wasn't that long ago if we think about it uh, that uh, prevented her from being able to redeploy that defense matrix like over and over and over again just to be <laughs> able to eat eat those little bits. And as as predicted, the double shield is now turning into a double shield bunker as we see swapping over to the uh, Bastion. Jar coming in now on to the Batiste. Uh, going to have that immortality field to be able to help out with all that jazz. And we're going to see <laughs> the typical double shield coming out for the side of Supernova with Stag and Guardians Mad coming out on the Doomfist and the May. Now, the I like that May pick. The May is definitely going to be beneficial because <clears throat> with, with the double shields now having those extended cooldowns, you have essentially another shield. The, the unfortunate <laughs> part is you can't shoot through this one. So all it does is really protect you. And hopefully, oh, oh, oh that's a good able to pick off, <laughs> uh, uh, able to pick off Stag because of that Maywall from Widow Main right there. Oh, Ended up being it. incredibly beneficial. Sad Widow Main able to take out Violet as well. Moose following up onto Guardians Mad. They're looking to get that first tick on the objective, if at all possible. But Moose oh, is just going to continue quite, to mow them down without the protections that they needed. Uh, Moose just... is just going to get pick <laughs> after pick after pick. And thankfully, it was only like uh, 40 seconds, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But they were trying to yeah. see if they could get that, that initial tick. Sometimes that's, and look at that's Moose's, all you look need. Look at Moose's ult charge. 70% already. They're going to have that tank form out blindingly fast. And I was going to say, I like the Guardian May. I think if they didn't lose Stag straight up. Uh, is this Stag, I think? Whoever they lost straight away. I like Guardian May. Guardian Mad, sorry. It's pick of a May on attack. You saw them put on the wall in front of Moose, and that allowed the team... Okay, Guardian Mad is gone. Ooh. But it allowed the team to get onto the point in the first place. They blocked off the Bastion and ran past. That was good coordination from the side of Supernova. Agreed see, I right think there. Gonna, and I think and they're just kind of Guardian holding now. off right now, waiting to uh, push into that high ground. And now this is kind of where 
this will get pretty crazy if they're not careful. They've got to oh. push in very strategically. Oh, but no, Moose Guardian isn't even looking at that team again. Not being able to, <laughs> not being able to stay in that position long enough, oh. uh, in that icicle oh, long oh. enough to be able to hold on. We're gonna see them continue to move into the objective though, as Moose ends up getting the pick onto Stag. Jar following up onto Violet right there. As they continue moving in, Destin Divine able to get Moose out of the fight, but the Aye, and Nautica as well. Lobo shutting down Nautica uh, during the res right there. So not going to have any res and not going to have that extra healer on the objective. But I think the Blizzard is going to... Well, maybe not. Maybe it won't. No, it's not. But the but the thought, are coming Jar in. able to take down Guardian Mad once again. Lobo does have the, the Gravitic Flux online as the Bongos end up coming out for Natham. That's going to get shut down by Destin, Divine, and Violet. And that's going to go ahead and more than likely give them objective number one with one minute, 35 seconds on the clock. Yeah, the supports from uh, Supernova there, Sleep and Des 10 Divine, able to do great work. They were the only two to make it to the point and survive, and they were able to stall there long enough for Guardian to get back. Of course, Guardian Mag went down so early, the respawn time was already in progress before the ADM su Supernova hit the point, and they were able to get back and eventually turn that fight Woo! in their favor. And look at that. Oh, Whoa! Look at those ults. Ball coming in, Asleep able to get the double. Oh Stag my word. Afterwards, that's a team kill clapping, clapping those cheeks right there. That's going to be four minutes, one wow. second on the clock for objective number two. That snowball came in and they were not ready for it. Night Ops going to have to set, uh, going to have to set a higher bar uh, going into their attack now in round two what what yeah, that was a fantastic so the point a attack ended up working really well just the way i guess the way the member the team members felt allowed them to get reinforcements back when they did and then in the end they didn't really need any ultimates to take point a and so that, yep. that's what gave them the snowball and i think at the end of point a night ops threw in a supercharger they threw in another blizzard yep. as well dig any value for it so they had nothing to defend with on point b we just saw the gravitic flux come out counter by des 10 on the with the sand barrier and that was Bob's your uncle, Supernova, able to take that point. Absolutely. And then we see, moving into the second objective, they were able, they were grouped up, and I don't think that Night Ops realized how quickly Supernova was coming into the objective because Lobo ended up getting at least four members of the team in that Gravitic Flux. Couple that with Stag's Meteor Drop, the Blizzard that came in, just everything that ended up going down uh, where they were essentially trapped. That just, oh man, it was just not a good day for them. They were able to pick off everyone, get that second objective within like 30 seconds of capturing point a so now they've got themselves a really good time bank it looks like we're going to continue to see that bastion on the attack now as hey. well as on the defense. so this is going to be interesting we do also have the far mercy coming in for and that's Bad a good pick. And Nautica. so i like that it's it's um the pharmacy having something another dps there that can move around can distract the other team from your bastion they say they're taking their time they know what they want to do Ooh, that was not That's... a good way to start, no. though. Guardian had <laughs> already getting the pick onto Nathan as we see the Bastions going at one another, essentially. <laughs> just, <laughs> just raining bullets in each other's direction right there. Guardian Mad uh, falling down to half, but is going to continue to be supported there uh, by the team. And I think the only thing that's going to make this difficult for them is you have the dedicated a mercy that's coming in onto shad onto sad widow main but you also have that dedicated mercy oh, oh onto hey, guardian mad gonna field. get taken out right there the res gonna be able to come in successfully as natham uh was able to take down guardian mad but not uh long enough they're gonna get a little separated here around the objective as we see that come in. We're now gonna see Tank no. coming out. Sad Widow Main shutting that down very early, as well as the barrage coming in. Violet gonna pick Sad Widow right out of the sky as Moose follows up onto Violet. The Rev's gonna come in on Sad Widow Main as they push in. It is a 4v6 fight right now. Is Sad Widow Main taking down a sleep? So now you've got that main healer already out of the fight with that immortality field that really could help them out. Solitude's going to follow up on Lobo as Stag takes out Jar. And Moose going to take down Stag in return. <laughs> Nautica going to take out on, Destin Divine on that fellow Murphy. <laughs>
That's going to give them Objective Alpha with 2 minutes and 15 seconds on the clock as they move their way into Objective 2. Although, I don't believe it's going to be nearly as uh, nearly as quick no. as we saw for the side of ADM Supernova. They have about a Not minute less to make, as a make it happen, though. Not unless there's a major misstep. You <laughs> see the accretion rock going on the top. I think that point A captures um, asleep, unfortunately, a little slow on the immortality field there. Not able to keep... Uh, who's the... Fashion. I think Guardian Mad alive. So once Guardian Mad went down, that forced Supernova to have... They had to fall back. They got the res, but unfortunately, they, they, they lost their position on the high ground. And that's what allowed Night Ops to come in and take the point there. That is really what it came down to. We're going to see Guardian Mad now swap over to the Reaper, seeing if that will end up being beneficial to uh, do some damage yeah. into that. Fashion's Guardian Mad immediately go. taking oh, down oh. Nathan as Stag follows up onto oh. the boost. Nautica able to get the res onto Nathan, but it's already a 5v6 fight as they move their way through the amplification matrix. Lobo following <laughs> up on Nathan, as right now we see Nautica obviously just oh, really so pissed cute. off that Moose ended up dying in that fight and was just like, I'm done. I'm done with this. <laughs> and just battle mercyed into the entire enemy team. <laughs> Unsuccessfully, mind you, but I mean... She put up a good fight, at the very least. And it looks like Nautica's yeah. gonna come back anyway, so uh, as that Mercy, so I'm not for certain what what the goal was for that battle Mercy. Maybe to distract them from taking out any other member of the team? I don't Maybe. know, but it was a good use of it was a good use of the ant matrix in that last fight. They only used Woo! one ultimate there, and they were in the fight convincingly. Man. That's a five-man gravitic flex right there. Ah. Stack comes in ah. with the meteor strike. Sad Widowmane able to take down Lobo though, so it's a five v six fight. As the Valkyrie comes out, Bongo's coming out, and amplification matrix on the other side. Right now, Nathan trying to see if they can get a pick. As the gravitic flex now coming out from Ooh. Solitude, looking to see if they can pull it off. The, the fist coming in right there gets the <laughs> uppercut onto Widow Main. Nautica able to get the red. Oh, oh Guardian! That's the three man blossom and Stag getting the other three. That's going to be a team kill right there. Oh. That elbow drop gotten the double at the end, and that shut everything down. I almost thought that we were going to see them take it right there, but, but that, that was coordination. That that was a great flank bike. So Guardian actually died and came back out of the spawn, out of the other door, and <laughs> Night Ops were just not ready for the and Guardian to come out behind. All their focus is on the point, and so you know, once you let rip that rip with that Death Blossom in the back line, at least you're looking at that reef and you've got something to stop it right there. You're not going to survive, and they didn't, and they were forced to pull out. Now, now look at them. Both teams actually investing a lot of ultimates in that fight, but the um, Night Ops only having the Blizzard left. Oh goodness, the Blizzard now coming online. See if oh, they that's a good Blizzard. That. And if wow. they end up being successful, not a lot of protection on this team against that Blizzard, unfortunately. Uh, Solitude able to get the double right there at the end. That's going to get them first tick. We're going to see Stag try to come in, but the Rock's going to take him right out. Gr uh, sorry, um, Coalescence coming out on either side right now for Jar and Asleep, but Asleep's going to get taken down quickly. Nautica following up on Dustin Divine as well as Violet gets the tackle onto Sad Widow main. Might be able to successfully hold off this objective without the main freezing everyone on point, but may not as they now have two ticks on the objective. One minute, 30 seconds on the clock for Vedic Flux. Coming out right now for Solitude doesn't manage to get much of anything as Stag and Destin Divine do end up getting taken out regardless. One minute, 20 seconds on the clock to four minutes, one second on the clock. So we are going to have to see, first off, one heck of an attack coming out from the side <laughs> of Night Ops if they're going to get a, si a single tick on Objective Alpha because it did take them a couple minutes to be able to get past that that bastion that we saw out in that uh, double shield comp. So if they can get past that quickly and at least get point alpha, they put themselves at a pretty decent advantage. If not, though, then Supernova might be walking Supernova, away with their yeah. first win of the evening. They're in the they're in the box seat here. I mean, all they have to do is effectively, if they want to pretty much guarantee themselves a win, all they have to do is hold point A for minute 20. Don't let Night Ops get any progress on the point. Then you've got four minutes to attack and capture only 33%.
And we saw that their, their point A defense was pretty solid in the last map, as you mentioned. Um, I think for them, uh, we'll, we'll also we'll see whether Sab Widow wants to uh, play on the Pharah this time. Looks like they're currently hovering over the May. Um, I think that's a smart idea. If you only got a minute twenty left, you need to make use of every advantage you can get, and pretty and every shield you can get as well. As okay. I say, that Nauticus, yeah, smartly on the mercy. I think you need the res. Yeah, so I think it'll be come down to the Bastion v Bastion battle, and how how well Sad Widow wait, Sad Widow main uses that wall to enable the attacking team to get past this defensive Ooh, Bastion. Well, Stag and end up melting Nathan to start things off. I gotta say, I am seeing double right now because both teams coming in with the same exact composition in the same exact There's order, the wall. Too, which is really interesting. We're gonna see <laughs> that may well come out, but it's gonna get melted rather quickly as we see the immortality field get taken down on either Ooh. side. Nathan gonna be able to get the pick onto Stag, but ends up. Uh, the res does end up being successful right there as they're continuing to have a hard time keeping that bastion on the object on uh alive rather a 30 seconds remaining on the clock as the wall comes up once again from sad widow main looking to get oh, that moose. double onto a sleep and stag that might be exactly what they need to get this first obje objective for three kills looking to make it a fourth as guardian mad falls to sad widow main is 2v6 on the objective, make that 1v6. Nope, Justin Devine gonna end up fall into solitude as well. 10 seconds on the clock. They're gonna end up capturing objective alpha as they prepare for an attack on objective B with only 30 seconds on the clock. Yeah, I think Moose there benefiting from a little bit more focus from uh, the Mercy with that damage boost, able to pump out a little bit more damage. Unfortunately, yeah, this send Divine just needing to heal up the rest of the members of the team, doing doing what a support needed to do. But unfortunately, that meant Guardian. Uh, sorry, it was a stag on the Bastion this time, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um. Unfortunately, didn't have the. Uh, I guess the, just that mercy boost, Whoa. and that, the damage boost. Gravitic Flux coming Ooh. out oh, right wow. now from Solitude, looking to see if Bang. they can get the picks, but the Immortality Field going to keep everybody up in the fight. Here comes the Blizzard, oh, the bl looking to oh. see if they can clean it up. Sad Widow main and Moose oh, able to get violet. two. Nathan following up on three. Uh, Sleep able to pick off... Uh, able to pick off Sad Widow main early in the fight so they won't have that crowd control for their advantage but it looks like they may not need it they're getting that first tick looking wow. to get that second tick right now as we see Asleep looking to touch objective gets <laughs> melted by <laughs> Moose and in overtime they will take two points giving them Ouch. four to two as we move into round four and what looked like a great uh, second round here on Anubis for ADM has just turned on its head. They have now mm -hmm. that, that was a fan that, oh, that was a fantastic attack from Night Ops. They did they just did everything right there. They got they got onto the point. They were to win the Bastion v Bastion duel. They had the ultimates they need to take point B. And now Supernova's in a and they're not in a completely terrible position. They managed to capture the the first two points in three minutes fifty nine the first time. So they've mm -hmm. got that same time back again. But they will be, I guess they will partly be relying on Night Ops, perhaps making, perhaps making a mistake on their defense. Night Ops, of course, know that exactly what they need to do. All they need to do is burn off as much time as they can on point A without handing over a, a steamroll advantage on if they do happen to lose it. Yeah, that's really going to be what it comes down to is how quickly they end up setting up on objective two, because if they end up losing it like they did last time, they're uh, going to find themselves at a disadvantage. And right now, um we're not getting anything for the side of um supernova right now they're i guess they're trying to figure out their strategy but we do have the double shield once again coming out for the side of night ops and it looks Little like they're going to go on to that double shield as well stag hasn't picked you no gonna go, go on that bastion as well so uh the only difference is they have uh, oh, reaper. No, gonna switch to that reaper des divine is coming in on that lucio Oh no! no but, well, <laughs> okay, then, just discussing. You've got you've got time, but not, not that much time, mates. Oh. Uh, anyway, so once again, we're going to see the mirror compositions. I'm not for certain how well uh, this is going to end up working no, no, no. out for them, though. Uh, the walls go up, but one ends up missing more than the other. Moose melting stag early in that fight, but the res going to come in from Desden Divine to be able to bring stag back into the fight. We have Guardian Mad on that on that side almost picking violet off 
without the rest of the team even realizing that that was going on, uh, they're going to essentially just ignore Guardian Mad right there. <laughs> as uh, as we see them it's continue to try to push in, there's already a minute off of the clock. As, uh, as we see that Maywall come up once again, the Hulk comes in, not able to get that pick. Amplification Ooh. Matrix coming out from Jar, looking to see if they can get it, but the Maywall goes up. Moose ends up picking off Lobo uh, with the advantage of that wall, but the Blizzard coming out from Guardian Mad, it may be exactly what they need to push in and get those picks. Guardian Mad and Stag end up taking down Sad Widow Main and Solitude right there. It is a 4v6 fight and it is melting now as the res comes in onto Jar. Moose ends up getting uh, taken down by Violet sure Lobo, taking the run <laughs> to Nautica's head, and Violet going to take down Jar two minutes. 30 seconds on the clock as they capture objective alpha. That's going to give them about three minutes to take objective Bravo. Well, there you go. That's what you get for ignoring Guardian on the May there. Clinking mm -hmm. in things from the side. You think, ah, oh, it's just the May. We've got to bash him. We'll be right. But no, once that blizzard came out, it was all over for Night Ops defense there. Uh, they're, I think they're looking down the barrel of a few. Oh, actually, yeah, they are looking down the barrel of a few ultimates there. And only the Ant Matrix, the only support ultimate they've got. Other way around, sorry. They've only uh, so they do have the Valkyrie, but it was going to be very difficult to combat, you know, four ultimates on the side of Supernova coming into this next fight. Supernova in a Whoa, great position. But Moose taking down oh, Stag early in that fight might make it successful. Moose following up on Violet as well as the Gravitic Plus now coming out. The uh, we're going to see the Immortality Field keeping everybody alive though. The Sad Widow main taking down Lobo. <laughs> Stag. On the objective, Stag able to take down Sad Widow main. Solitude following <laughs> uh... up on Death Divine and Stag though as Moose ends up melting to sleep. They came in with an ultimate advantage, but instead of waiting after that first pick, uh, those first two picks came in. They ended up just using them, and now they're setting themselves up at a disadvantage uh, to now oh. five ultimates coming online for the side of Night Op. Uh, Stag, Stag rocket jumping over the wall from Sad Widow, man. It was a delight to see. It got, got a kill off the back of that. <laughs> Unfortunately, not quite enough. <laughs> yeah, no, see, so you, and not. you're right, you're right. Supernova threw a lot into that fight. Unfortunately, not able to get enough done. That immortality field from a, uh, from Jar, able to keep um, anyone caught in the Gravitic Flux alive. So unfortunately for them, yeah, that immortality field doing a fair amount of work. And yeah, they put themselves Ooh, in this. The Bongo's now. coming in from Violet as well as Double Blizzard coming out right now. Snowballs all over the field. It is kill for kill right now, but the red coming in as Nautica brings the res onto oh, Solitude. The Moose, pops no. in, able to get the double from behind as Lobo takes down Moose and Solitude right there. That's first tick on the objective. Stag following up onto Jar, trying to see if oh. they can hold uh, oh. Widow main in base. Going to end up being unsuccessful, but Stag will take down Widow oh. on the objective. Moose following up on Destin Divine. As the slam comes in, Violet able to follow up on Moose. Gravitic Flux now coming in for Solitude, able to end up getting it in. Blossom going to come out from Stag, though. It's asleep and Violet get the kill. Sad Widow main able to take down Asleep, still holding on to the objective. 15 seconds. Oh! Wow! They stepped off just a little too long. And that's, that's going to right. be objective number two once again. We're headed into round five, folks. Both teams get an extra minute added to their clock. So it is now going to be back to the side of Night Ops for round five to be able to try <laughs> to uh, see if they can get that objective in the shorter amount of time that they have. And that's, a, uh, uh, that's fantastic work from Supernova there. They, they've been able to capture Anubis twice in their original time bank. They still had 16 seconds left at the end of that fight. Mm -hmm. That is phenomenal. Um, yes, and we saw a Supernova actually lost both. The only people to uh, die on that point B attack there were the supports of Supernova. But um, Death 10 was able to stop on Lucio and get back, and the rest of the team was able to get the job done. So I'm really, really pleased with what I saw from Supernova there. That was a great attack. And again, we're, I feel, again, like I need to go get my eyes checked because we're seeing double <laughs> once again as we see the defense coming in, ADM, Supernova, and Night Ops looking to take uh, those Bastion positions in the bunkers. And I got to say, it's been working out a lot better for, for Night, Night Ops, Ops than it has yeah. been Supernova. So Supernova has to be really careful of how they're going to play this out. 
I think a lot of that is down to the wall placement from the maze here. I feel sad Widow Main has just got the better of that May battle. I know we saw Guardian get a great blizzard on that attack, but that was mainly due to being ignored, not necessarily due to walls and icicle placements. So there you well, go I again. Agree there. Stag Stag currently the wall. using the wall to their advantage, uh, looking to see if they can melt down the team. Uh, even seeing the icicle come oh, in, Stag Moose. able to get the pick onto Moose okay. right there. As the Hulk comes in, the res comes down as Stag taking down Nathan as well. 25 seconds remaining on the clock, and they're holding strong for now. If they can keep it going, Jar does have the, the um, amplification yeah. matrix That'll online. That'll be the difference maker here. If if they can pull it off, it is all they need. Stag does have tank mode online, though, as well. And here they go. They're Ooh. looking to just see if they can push in. Tank mode coming out from Stag <laughs> as they push in to the objective. Damn. Amplification Matrix Ooh. now coming online. As we see, the Immortality Field get taken oh. out. Stag with the Whoa. double kill. Triple kill onto Nautica Jar and moves as Sad Widow main able to follow up onto Guardian Mad. It is a 3v6 fight now on the objective. 2v6. 1v6 as the tanks get taken out. Sad Widow Main, the only one left to touch and is going to end up getting at least one tick on the objective. They have set themselves up for a victory if Supernova wow. cannot touch the objective. So this, of course, this this map will end after this next round. There's no way to draw it from here. But yeah, so we talked about the May Walls just before that fight started. And uh, who's the May for? Sad Widow uh, Main. Sad Widow, thank you. Sad Widow main put a great wall on the point there. Pushed uh, three members of Supernova up there, and that's and that enables Stag to just plunk it uh, to, I guess, pump in those rockets from the tank form Bastion. That's what got them the kills they needed to clear off the point. It's a great work there from Sad Widow main, who's probably yeah. actually sad because they're not playing Widow at all. Yeah, uh, maybe that's why they're a sad Widow main. They don't get to play with you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they're so sad they're like i'm a widow man i have to learn how to do other things now oh i gotta put up walls icicles are kind of like sniper shots right <laughs> <laughs> all right well, they're pretty so deadly though we're, uh, we're seeing a shift in position here it looks like although oh, we see the bunker coming out once again for the side of night ops we're gonna see a telestrat Guardian Mad taking up the Symmetra as Stag follows suit with the Reaper, looking to see if they can get to the objective a little quicker to be okay. able to get to that 39%. It could end up working out for them, and they just got to be incredibly careful how they play this out. They don't have the damage oh. to match. The Hulk comes in, Moose able to pick off a sleep early in that fight, and they don't have the res this time around. Teleporter uh -huh, going teleport. into the objective. Double Shield <laughs> coming up right now as Zach <laughs> takes down the Immortality Field on Jar. Nathan able to follow up on Violet. Lobo oh. able to get the pick on the Sad Widow made. But that looks like it's going to be uh, all all she wrote right there. Nathan going to follow up on Guardian Mad as Moose takes down Lobo. The Red's going to come in for Sad Widow main just in time. And that is going to be a hold of Objective Alpha. 30 uh, seconds on the clock as they prepare for their next and possibly final push. That was great play from Supernova there. They actually dodged the wall from Sad Widow main. They were able to get everyone in. Unfortunately, a sleep getting uh, cut down straight away meant that they lost the Mora coming. They didn't have the extra healing they needed on the point, but they were able to get there. Get about halfway. So see if they're able to do it again. Whoa, the teleport oh, that's uh, mate, the teleporter's right gone. Uh, the teleporter got taken out before anyone could really use it. As they, they are now separated out. Among oh, they got Moose down. Off Moose as well as Jar. That may be their success. As the Gravitic Flux now coming in from Solitude, looking to see if they can hold it on. Destin Divine getting the double kill on Nautica and Sad Widow Main as Lobo gonna do it. on Solitude. ADM Supernova able to sh be the shining wow. star in this wow. match in overtime. Gonna go ahead and take away their first win of the night, tying it up one to one as we go into this halftime break. Wow, what a match. I mean, I know I think I've wow. said a book, I thought I can't stand 2CP, but sometimes it produces matches like that. That was, And oh. this is exactly what we oh. saw right here. Oh, yes. That blossom, and then the <laughs> meteor strike. Ah. Uh, and he was just like frozen, frozen for the rest of it. He's just like, ah, uh, <laughs> what oh, my job. <laughs> I do read things. Wow. Oh. That was absolutely <laughs> impressive for either side right there. It literally, and it's like we said at the beginning that this 
that this match and the subsequent two matches that come in the following weeks for those that are kind of sitting middle of the road in their divisions right now, these are going to be the those matches that are really going to decide whether they're making it to the playoffs or they're packing at home before the playoffs get started. So um, obviously Supernova is putting their uh, putting their line in the sand and saying, nope, we're sticking around. We're not going anywhere. Oh. And yeah, I think a lot of and a lot of that there was um, unfortunately Moose got caught out there on that that second attack. They ended up is stuck in the corner of the doorway towards the B point, and it's a great focus from Supernova there that able to identify exactly where Moose was without protection. The immortality field was who knows where, no support. They would have melt them down. That's I think that's what gave them um, that win in the on their first attack. Moose stayed on the high ground, and there was no one to contest them up there. They were able to mow down the attackers standing on the point. So. Really, really good work from Supernova. Well, that was the thing is that there was a there was like there was a good play and then there was like a misplay between the two because the good play from the side of Night Ops is they melted the teleporter before anyone could use it. So they were trying to push in without a teleporter, but then the May wall came up from Sad Widow Main, ended up rising both the tanks onto the high ground with the Bastion, <laughs> who then was forced to move with the rest of the team that was moving to the low ground, because, I mean, a Bastion's good, but you're not taking on two tanks. It's just not happening. So um, it, it just ended up, honestly, by the time that everything kind of settled in, um, as everyone was eventually on the low ground, I honestly could not tell where that was going to end up because there was just a scatter of blue and red <laughs> like all over that objective. I don't know who was going for who at that point, <laughs> but it was uh, it ended up turning out well for Supernova. They're shining bright now as we move into our halftime break. Go ahead. Get yourselves a, a drink, a snack, use the restroom, invite some more people to watch the amazing scrim going on here in the Diamond Division. And we'll see you all back in about five minutes.
walk through that bunker comp, it really kind of prevents you from getting some picks here. Of course, Pivik's doing a lot of work here, taking down both Snee and Raccoon in the air, and then, of course, getting a flashbang kill onto Ozzy Amandis as they just roll right through Dark Allegiance. So, of course, all of my analysis was... Welcome back, everyone, to this R Diamond Division Rose Cup match between Night Ops and Supernova. Before the break, we saw our Supernova take a very, very tight and tense uh, Anubis and a, a score of 5-4 to four in the end. Very, very close. And to even up the series, now we're seeing both teams on 1-1. One, one. Night Ops has chosen to take us to Nambani next. Indeed. Sorry about that. My mic was just a little bit disconnected and I was talking the whole time. <laughs> so <laughs> I was just like, what do you mean he's doing the introduction? I'm right here. <laughs> oh, well, anyways. Um, yes, as Temporal said, Numbani is going to be our next map. Uh, going into the half, Night Ops and uh, Supernova currently tied a one to one. Um, the way that I'm seeing things right now, Temporal, and uh, correct me if you think different, but I, I feel like Supernova is going to have to take these next two maps in order to uh, solidify their victory this evening. Because I feel if it does go to that map five, which we all know is going to end up being a control point, um, they might find themselves at a disadvantage based on we, how we saw uh, the first match go. I agree with that, and especially if we see some. Uh, well, the the control point map would uh, be Oasis, and that is a very that that is a map that actually see. I tend to see a lot of Bastion. We can see a bit of May, a bit of Pharah as well, which is something that Night Ops has shown off here. So they might they, we really will want to avoid going there. Well, let's see and if they can make I it want happen. To Oasis, because I don't like be... the map. <laughs> well, nevertheless, they're going to be headed to a control <laughs> map, and they've, they've proven that they didn't do so well uh, on on the on Nepal. Uh, so, um, not too, not too bad, taking an early dive. I'm not not for certain why. I'll believe it. I guess uh, just uh, oh, going off for Wait the minute. stream. Yeah. I guess. Look at what I can do. Wee. <laughs> we're seeing, well, yeah, we're seeing, in... we're seeing them roll out in the yeah this this bunker comp, which we mm -hmm. just, we tend to see a lot on them, Barney. Some teams like to actually play that bunker v bunker. I know I had a team the other week. Someone said in chat they love playing Bastion v Bastion. They just practice non-stop for it, and they were oh. they did show that off. But it looks like a Supernova not choosing to take the route. They are running with the pharmacy, which I like. Uh, there's lots of avenues of attack for Farrah. You can go out mid, you can go around the outside, and oh okay, not off choosing to. Choosing to uh, on this uh, on the attacker's left here on the high ground. This is incredibly interesting. Usually, when you see the Bastion composition, Ooh. you see them set up 
on the far side right there, but maybe I'm they're looking to over. draw them out. Uh, Nathan getting cut off right there. Is Moose able to pick off the far? Oh. Mercy, Dag, <laughs> and Asleep going to take down Jar and Nathan in return. Sad Widow Main also on that far Mercy does take down Lobo as they're able to get first tick onto the objective. Uh, right now, they're using they the got two their advantage right now. <laughs> Bastion cannot point straight down to take things out. So they've got two ticks already within the first minute as the res comes in onto Sad Widow main. Moose able to take down Violet, and that's going to uh, be that fight for right now. They're going to have to uh, figure out. Uh, honestly, that positioning was not the best. I'm not for certain why yeah. they decided to go that route. It's very difficult to... Uh, uh, you know, be able to hold on to the objective. You don't have a clear view of everything as you do with uh, that right side of the objective. So let's see. Uh, it looks like they're just going to go in the same attack point. again. Yeah, I was. Just, I think that was really smart. I don't know if they knew where the bastion was going to be, but they know where the bastion is now. Oh! oh! They've got the bastion down, but Sad Widow Main with the barrage in the back line ends up taking him out of the fight. Moose following up. Onto a sleep, a sad window main takes down Stag. Guardian Mad gonna fall to Moose as well, and that's gonna go ahead and shut down that push. Uh, two uh, minutes, ten not... seconds on the clock right now. Yeah, unfortunately, not able to completely kill the Bastion with that barrage. They're able to get those, the 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 up, but not enough. And yeah, I'm still wondering whether whether or not uh, Night Ops actually knew that the point was being captured to give away two ticks like that. In any uh, case, they have the advantage here now. They've, look at what they've got ultimate-wise. They've got the Bastion ult, they've got the Valkyrie, they've got the Amplification Matrix. They're in a really good position now. I can agree with you there. Guardian Mad, though, does have the Barrage online. So if they can end up being successful, that will end up help, helping them in the end. The Ooh. Amplification Matrix comes out, and every trick in, song <laughs> in Lobo's book does save them in the end. Stag is sitting very low on health right now. Uh, I'm not for certain oh, why the heals down. are coming in right there, but now I know because both healers are out of the fight. Barrage comes in from Guardian Mad, able to take down Moose. <laughs> that Widow Man's going to come from behind, take down Guardian. As the res comes in on to Moose, we're now going to see a, a 3v2, 3v3 actually in the alt economy as Nautica also ended up using the Valkyrie during that fight. 60 Ooh. seconds. On the clock. Late. So Scotty Mad, what are you doing? throwing in that barrage because they're swapping onto. Okay, they were swapping onto Sombra. No, swapping onto the main now. I was going to say Sombra is a good pick against the uh, against the bunker, but you need time to build up the EMP yeah. to make it useful. And again, the, not many ultimates needed to be. Actually, only Nordica investing in ultimates. Oh no, no Jar invested. The, wow, Jar's already up to sixty percent on the amplification matrix already. Oh my goodness, there. And we see Sad Widow Man in that oh, back line what? already getting the How double right there. there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not even for certain. <laughs> oh, and oh, taking God, man, that out a second that. time. Solitude wow. going on a field trip as well. Yeah. There you go. Get back here. Looking really good for Supernova, but then that separation just uh, uh, moving into the objective, somebody's got to be able to touch, and it looks like yeah. it's going to be Lobo. Oh, Lobo, no, going down. Get shut down. Hey, Five there you go. Go. And between Solitude's Gravitic Flux and Sad Widow's Barrage, that's going to go ahead and shut down <laughs> the, the push no right there. Two ticks on objective one. Okay, that was... I think... I think... That would have been a. I reckon that would have been a complete hole from Night Ops there if they hadn't allowed Supernova just to capture that two two ticks. Um, I th yeah, Supernova I think really got the work cut out for them. Of course, if they can do it, pull off a full hold of their own, they'll get the mat win. But I feel that Night Ops definitely got the better of them there. They had a very solid defensive setup. Just that weird positioning at the start. We'll see if Supernova chooses to match the bunk the bunker defense. We know we saw them pull it out multiple times on Anubis, and and then to, in the end, to great effect, they did have the superior time bank on all three attacking runs. That is true. I'm so I'm going to be interested to see how they decide to run the bunker, though, because as I said, we usually see them on that opposite high ground, and if they do that, and we see Ooh. Sad Widowmane and Nautica right there again on that far of mercy. Um, uh, if they're able to get into that side, it could end up working out for them. But um, being on that high ground advantage is 
going to give them that, an advantage against anything that's going to be coming in from uh, either direction on this objective. And it looks like... It looks like that's what they're going to do. They're going to set up on that high ground where we just saw Sleep jump down from. Uh, they're going to set up right in the position that we normally see this kind of uh, tactic. Solitude's going to be coming in on the... Uh, oh, never mind. Going to swap on over to, uh, to Sigma instead for that extra shield. Yeah, and I like the positioning on the Bastion here. You can cover all approaches, and to get at the Bastion, the attacking team has to come all the way over the point to you. You've got oodles of time to deal with them, and you've got Guardian as well, who's able to, won't have to sit with the Bastion, and we see a, as we see a Pharmacy Jewel around the outside now. That's true, and now so they're figuring the out pharmacy. where the Bastion set up. We see uh, the Suck coming in, but Stag going to take Moose. down Moose. Not going to be able to suck up enough damage right there. We're seeing the immortality field up, but Guardian Mad not able to get the pick on it, but is continuing to do damage along with Moose. Shield going down, and there goes Natham to Guardian Mad. That's going to shut down this push more than likely for now as they go ahead and regroup. Three minutes, ten seconds on the clock. Even with Stag getting yeah. knocked off the high ground there. No. What? Why did they jump? Damn. I think Stag got. I think Stag got. I think Stag got halted off the edge. Or oh, knocked you off think so? Yeah, glass. I guess that yeah. would make sense. Uh, I must have missed the boop there. <laughs> That's all right. It was inconsequential. Uh, yeah, it was like, but, but you just turn around and you're like, why is everyone on the low ground all of a sudden? <laughs> all right. I just want to so see what Anakin felt like. 45 seconds on the clock. Coming back in with the suck and the amplification. Matrix. Oh, the exactly bang. Need. Oh, Solitude and Moose oh, able to get the double right there, but the rest comes in on to Guardian Mad. Nautica able to bring Nathan back in as well as Guardian Mad does take down Moose. It, in succession right there. So Barrage oh, coming out, focusing Stag nice. and Sleep gets them both not being able to get that suck out enough. There is Lobo trying to absorb what little damage they could, but ends up getting the rock from Solitude right there. Two minutes, 20 or 10 seconds on the clock right now as they're continuing to fight Guardian Mad who ends up taking themselves out of the fight. Valkyrie now coming out for Destin Divine, able to hold on until the team was able to get there, oh. ends up getting picked off by Solitude, as now the percentage climb still not not looking to start, but we're seeing the amplification matrix come out from Asleep, ends up getting taken down by Solitude. First tick now on the objective, and that's all she wrote, folks. Second tick and that little percentage extra, and Night Ops going to start off the second half with a early lead to to one here on Numani. Yeah, some really good uh, da, 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 really good pressure from Night Ops. They just took that, didn't they? Yes, really good pressure from Night Ops. We saw the tanks from ADM, got, uh, sorry, from Supernova got forced onto the low ground. That left the Bastion exposed. Once Bastion jumped on, so I think it was Stag on the Bastion, once they jumped down, the Barrage was able to come through from Sad Widow Main, and that was the end of that fright right there. It was just a clean up from there. And they're able to get, it, get the job done and take this round and put themselves on, onto match point. Yep, and that's the unfortunate part right there is that they probably ha had it. And usually what we see in this composition, although it seems kind of silly, is instead of using the um and instead of using the double shield, sometimes we'll see a um an Arisa and a Diva. Unfortunately, Supernova didn't have the ability to do that because Night Ops um, was choosing to run a Bastion of their own. Usually you can get around that um, without uh, the second Bastion on the other side. But um, usually that D.Va will be able to jump down touch point and be able to get back to high ground successfully, but with no one to be able to kind of be on the point by themselves, it kind of forced the tanks to go down there and then uh, ultimately ended up losing them the match because they weren't coordinating their drop together kind of uh similar to what we see on route 66 when they hold on big <laughs> earls the thing that i still don't understand that people do because m like 90 percent of the time no matter how good you are it doesn't work out in your favor <laughs> <laughs> to drop down uh, like it just it in my brain it just doesn't make sense but that's why i'm a plat player so um but it, it seemed very similar in this aspect they were trying to drop down but they didn't drop as a group and uh, that ended up shoring up that victory for Night Ops. Hopefully they'll be able to take it back uh, as we head to Rialto, uh, which is going to be our next map.
another popular Bastion map in these day in these yeah. I guess in this current patch as well. Even before the, the current matter. patch, I think we saw a bit of Bastion, and we yeah we do see and like like on um like we just saw on Barney, we do see a lot of point A holds here. So some teams, especially if you get the cart most of the way to the first point as the attacking team, and then you get stopped, it's sometimes very very difficult to recontest that and push it through. Nope, I completely agree with you there, and that's going to be what it comes down to, is if they get that bunker set up on the objective, if they're able to hold it down. So go ahead, start blowing up in the chat. This could possibly be the final match of the evening. So start blowing up who y'all are looking at for your player of the match this evening. Temporal, where, are, like, who are you leaning to based on the uh, what we've been seeing this evening? I'm looking at this uh, this support line from Night Ops at the moment. Char has been very good on Baptiste and Moira. I believe they played more in the Nepal as well. Mm -hmm. uh, building up very, very quick amplification matrices. And you, you, once you put that up, you've got a bash and firing through it. You've got the damage boost coming from the Nautica. Nothing is going to survive that onslaught of damage. But then on that note as well, I'm looking at Nautica doing a lot of work, uh, playing, doing well to support Sad Widow Man on the Pharaohs in that pharmacy. Also, just damage boost in the Bastion, providing Moose that little edge over Stag that has been able to and, and enable Stag, uh, sorry, enabled Moose to take, uh, to, I guess, take out most of these Bastion v Bastion duels. So I'm really liking the work that the support line is doing from Night Ops. Uh, I can agree with you there, and I've got I've got my sights set on uh, the. Uh, I've got my sights set on the healers for the side of uh, Supernova as well. Uh, Destin Divine, especially on that Mercy, being able to get in and out of situations that uh, many Mercies have uh, difficulty doing. And um, honestly, since I don't play Mercy for a hill of beans, like that's uh, incredibly impressive to me. We're going to be seeing a dive -ish composition come out. Asleep oh, going to cool. be coming in on that Ana, which is the only thing that I kind of question in this composition because with that dive, you usually want kind of a healer that can follow. Oh, Solitude and Sad no. Widowing, though, going to get the double right there as Asleep and Guardian Mad able to take down Moose and Jar. So it's a 4v4 fight. The res comes in on Moose as Sad Widow main takes down Stag. Um, that's probably going to shut down this push for now as we continue to see the fight going. It does not look like it's going to be uh, in their favor, though, as we see <laughs> Destin Divine <laughs> able to safely able to get back to safety right there with the help of Violet swapping over to the Diva. Yeah, sleep putting Moose asleep at the end of that fight. <laughs> yeah, a great. I, I like I see I like what they're doing with the sleep on the Ana. They throw the great uh, there's a great biotic grenade onto the top of the bastion there. Stopped any healing coming through. And able to pick the, uh, able to the, them to pick Moose off. Unfortunately, the res the res was there from Nordica and the, the kills going the way of oh, wow. okay the kills going the way of Night Ops just like that kill onto a sleep. Well, definitely well, not gonna be able to, to get that res in as the um. As we see the rock come in, take Violet down for just a moment, uh, they're going to be able to get healed back up. Defense Matrix coming hey, up right now as they push in onto the high ground, ends up getting d -Mac <laughs> rather quickly. Anti-Nade coming down, Violet able to get that kill onto Moose, but the res is going to come in once again uh, from no. Nautica, saving wow. the day of Moose as Solitude ends up taking Violet out of the fight. They're going to keep trying to push that objective forward. But uh, Lobo able to get Nautica in that backline. Guardian Mad as well, able to take down Moose. The team in the cart are just wow. okay right now. And they're using that to their advantage. Barrage hey. coming down right now. And Guardian Mad going to get the double as Stag follows up on Solitude on cart. Two minutes on the clock, and they're moving their way into objective number one. A great work from Supernova. They just snuck that car under the Bastion there. Yep. And in doing so, they stretched out Night Ops. As Night Ops was suddenly split, they're going, oh, hang on, do we hit the players at spawn? Do we stop the cart? Do we hit the players? And they got stretched out too far, mm -hmm. lost their focus. That's what enables Supernova to come here, though, though. Night Ops will recontest with the supercharger here. Out. Pulse Bomb ends oh, up taking the bomb out. out, but not before oh, Moose uh, able to take down Lobo in that backline, swapping over to the McCree. 
looking to see if they can stun out that Tracer. Stag able to get successfully away after getting stunned right there. Minute 20 seconds on the clock as the DMAX comes in for Violet. Minefield oh, now on the objective, gets the double onto Nathan and Nautica, but it's not going to be enough. Solitude continuing to hold on as Moose puts a sleep asleep and the res comes in from Destin Divine. Uh, Wait, one meter. Wait, one meter. 0.01 meters from the objective, <laughs> wasted a couple of additional away. seconds. <laughs> the Lobo able to get that kill onto Sad Widow main as Violet goes for the hard reset to get that mech back. They're going to start pushing into objective number two with three minutes, 15 seconds on the clock. Yeah, I, I like the use of the pulse bomb from Stag. Just guarantee the kill on the supercharger, deny that extra damage, and of course the supercharger is not a moving target, so you can just pick up, place your pulse bomb down and walk away. All right, we well, see. we see Moose does have the high noon online. Solitude swapping over to the hog. Looking to see to use that. Oh, keep him up! Oh, oh bang! Gets the double wow. stack going up onto Solitude before they can get that healing. It's now the Farm <laughs> Mercy trying to contest the cart and is going to be unable to do so as Stag chases down Nautica all the way back to spawn as <laughs> well as it that. killed the entire pharmacy. Man. <laughs> Just like soloing wow. that farmer see right there. Two minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. That's objective two, folks. That's going to give I them four I'm... minutes to move their way into objective three. And right now, Night Ops is on the back foot. I think a lot of teams have probably forgotten how to deal with the self-destruct. They haven't seen a demon in so long. They're going, ah, we've got all the shields <laughs> we like, need. Ah, what's that? what's that big glowing thing? I don't understand. <laughs> you've, got, you've got solitude on the road, Pogdo. So you you've lost the extra shield. And uh, the, uh, again, they changed the roadhog and smack through Viola right there. And that's going to go job. ahead and shut down that push for now as Lobo gets taken down by the Coalescence. Violet and Lobo going to swap over to the Ooh, Arista okay. Hog as well. Trying oh, to poor, see if they can teams. match it up. I mean, that that halt hook combo is still very powerful if you can end up pulling it off. So it's really going to come down to who they end up picking. Ideally, you want to get that Orisa so you don't have the the only shield on the cart. Uh, that's going to be the objective right now of both Lobo and Solitude to be able to pick them off. Both hooks end up going in and missing right there. The Hulk comes in, but oh. Stag able to take down Nathan, swapping over can to the Can they get the Riz? Oh, Riz! Comes in, but Moose! Oh, with the wow! With the Jedi! I don't, <laughs> that came from behind, I believe. Able to get that fourth oh. onto Lobo, and that's going to go ahead and shut down that push. you got to watch out for McCree. you got to yeah, watch out for that. Supernova doing the right thing. They're focusing on that Mercy, trying to stop the res. But yes, of course, leaving themselves open to McCree, declaring the time in the back line. And well, I was going to say, we, we had a mirror compositions again. A supernova opting into it, but no, changing away now onto the May, not wanting to go with that pharmacy jewel in the sky. Okay. Obviously, not wanting to face against, uh, uh, fear, fear, rightfully perhaps, fearing Moose and that peacekeeper of his. Well, I think what we've been seeing is Widow Main kind of oh, beating McCree, out sorry. those Farah fights. And once again, we're going to see that barrage come down, almost ended up. Uh, taking out the whole team, but it ended up getting interrupted, I believe, by the hook. Uh, but the rest of Night Ops able to uh, solidify the rest of the destruction that that barrage would have done. One minute, 50 seconds on the clock, and right now that cart is stalled out at 44 meters. Yeah, and this is a very difficult choke point to attack here. You've only got that one little doorway to go through. You've got the right-hand left, uh, right -hand side for the attacker's effective. The Solitude's got that locked down pretty well. And you haven't really got the ultimates available to you at the moment, though. That's definitely in the favor of Night Ops. Oh, okay. Oh! Stunned down? Oh! I think, I think, I think Stag ended up getting flashbanged by Moose during the halt. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's great horrible. combo. Moose ends up getting taken down by Stag regardless. The res comes wow. in again from Nautica, just able to pull those off. Barrage! In the in the sky, Sad Widow Main does get the double Lobo taking them out though, as Destin Divine Ooh, follows up on Moose Coalescent oh, coming out right now. Probably not needed, but they've got the ultimates to spare Ooh. as Jar follows up on Destin Divine. That's gonna go ahead and push everyone back to spawn for another regroup and only fifty seconds left for Andromeda Supernova to take objective three. That was a good chase by Nodops there, hunting down the supports and able to get the hook onto Des 10 to stop them escaping. And there you look at them, they are rolling in, they've got a few ultimates available to them, particularly that Blizzard, which is what I'll be looking at. If they can capture, hopefully, the Mercy on the ground as Bruce throws out the Deadeye just to keep them away. 
Yeah, nice. that's what it Perfect ended up. What, what it ended up coming down to. They were ready to pull back if they couldn't. And you got Blizzard out. Up. Blizzard coming out though. Oh, the right Bongo's now oh, coming out for Violet, looking to see if they can clean it up. Sad Widow Main getting Guardian in the back line as Lobo and Stag following up on the tank line in the front. Stag able to take Sad Widow Main out of the sky wow, as well Stag. as Zeus. It's everything is coming up. Stag right now is asleep. Ends up sending Nautica to the depths. As we see, see Solitude comes in with the Solitude hook, can do able it. to get oh. sleep just barely. Coalescence coming out right now from Jar, pushing into the objective as well oh. as the whole hog from Solitude ends up getting melted down by Stag. But Moose now back in as the Reaper takes Stag out of the fight. Res coming in from Nautica, trying to keep <laughs> the fight alive. Overtime ticking away right now, and it looks like the Barrage is going to solidify this. Moose taking down Des Divine. The only one left is Guardian Mad. Gonna get shut down by Nathan. And with oh. just probably about like 10 meters to the final resting place of Objective 3, Andromeda Supernova gonna get shut down. Yeah, so uh, interesting fight there. Uh, we saw the Roadhog on the defense come out with that. Uh, Solitude, sorry. On defense, come out with that whole hog. Uh, sorry. At the start of that fight, we saw Solitude go down with the whole hog available to him with about 10 seconds left on the clock. And, of course, whole hog is a great ability that you can use to push the attacking team off the cart. They did able to come back, get it used. It was interrupted halfway through. But then in the end, it didn't need Solitude didn't need the whole hog to finish off that there. They got rezzed by Nordica. They're able to hook Lobo out of their own whole hog. I think that's a lot of a lot of work there done by the combination of Solitude and Nordica to finish off that fight and set it up for Sad Widow Main to rain in that barrage from the sky and finish off the attacking team. So really good combination from that tank and support players from Night Ops there. I can agree with you there. And now we're going to have to see what um, is going to be coming out from the side of um, Supernova for this defense. That's going to be start, one of the biggest start, picks that they, can make right now, that they can make right now because it looks like they're going to run Violet and Lobo on the Orissa Hog once again, which can be beneficial at this part of the map. Like being able to get those those hooks or those hulks off the cart into the water can set you up really well for defending on this objective. I think it's really going to come down to uh, now Sad Widow Man coming in on the Doomfist and Moose on that Reaper is going to end up being what solidifies this fight for them because they also don't have a defensive alt, whereas Nautica does have uh, does have the sound barrier for them to use once they get that earned up. Yeah, they do. They call lessons, well, call lessons a bit of attack, bit of defense as well. Then no, neither team interestingly opting in for the Bastion v Bastion jewel here. Oh, no and the cart's to already it. past the bridge. Sad Widow Main almost getting halted off, but able to use that elbow. Oh, to Lobo! Get to the side. Solitude picks off it's Lobo, in. as now we're going to see Moose moving in very aggressively. Now Sad taking their place as they continue to move their way back. Far of Mercy still in the sky gets Oh, hooked. good hook! Solitude gonna end up taking Guardian Mad right out of the sky as Moose follows up. Onto a sleep. It is a 3v6 fight. Now on the objective is Violet holding on for dear life, but not being able to hold on long enough as Moose and Solitude go ahead and take Violet and Des 10 Divine out of the fight. Three minutes on the clock, and they're making their way very quickly to objective number Oh, one. another hook. Solitude just showing up on the road, Hoggy. These hooks are insane. Mm -hmm. Able to start off that fight with the pick of the low bow. Able to pick that Mercy out of the sky. We've seen Guardians actually change to Goss into the main now. Wary of that hook. It looks like Moose able to pick off Stag on that high ground as Moose going in the oh. back line, looking to see if they can take Violet out of the fight. Dueling Coalescence is now going on the objective as Solitude and Moose end up taking down Lobo and Guardians Mad. That's going to end up shutting down more than likely this defense. Yep, there it comes. Stag trying to come in and save the day, but going to get punched right <laughs> to the side of the bridge. That's going to give them four minutes, 46 seconds, just about the same amount of time that we saw from the side of uh, Andromeda. And this right now, it's not just stopping. a big fast. Death and Divine <laughs> getting hooked. Guardian Mad just getting picked off left and right. And I'm not, they're really focusing on Guardian uh, during this map. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I, I would too. I, I mean, May is a quite a nightmare to deal with sometimes especially if you've only got that you've only got that one shield from uh um, nathan as well at the moment so if may can get around that um 
it's, it can be very annoying. So that's ooh. There you go. Do, do you question oh. that? Do you question those bongos as much as I question those bongos? I think it's just panic stations at the moment for Supernova. They're getting steamrolled in this map, and they know that if they didn't let Night Ops get through to the second point, they're going to be very hard pressed to hold them out here. Yep, it's going to be difficult, but right now, being in such a staggered state is not a good position to be in either, as they once again just get melted. Nobody's on the cart, though, so I guess they earned a little <laughs> bit of uh, extra time from that. But unfortunately, it's not going to end up being successful to, for them. Lobo. Lobo looking to see if they can get that up as the bongos now come out for uh, Nathan. Oh, Moose! Double on top! Oh, Stag comes out just a little <laughs> bit on top because of that additional <laughs> blizzard from Guardian Mad. Team kill once again to the side of Supernova. Now, I got to say, that's one thing that Supernova has been doing an incredible job with is that they have gotten team kills like left and right this evening. Like, yeah, they can, but they can they pull off those big plays, but it's making sure to get those staggers going that uh, they're having a difficult time with because they end up themselves getting staggered. At this point though, I think they needed to solidify here. They hadn't had any success. This is the first time they've stopped the cut moving forward. But as I say, that Moose is trying to- <laughs> Yeah, Moose is in the back line. Just <laughs> the moving moose the cardboard. <laughs> but they no worries, super folks. Big... Oh, I was gonna say, Supernova 3. Oh, oh no! The... The and they ended up Lobo right uh... off the side as Lobo was going down. Oh, what a freeze We've though. seen the freeze come in from Guardian Mad. Uh, Stag able to get the pick <laughs> on to Widow Main right there and will successfully still Ooh. live. But Moose ends up taking down Violet as a beat drop now coming in from Nautica, looking to move in on this objective despite the fact that it's a 5v5 fight. They think that they can take it. Two minutes, 15 seconds on the clock, and they're still just kind of poking at one another right now, using the environment to their advantage. Oh, the hook comes oh, in, and Nathan able to take down Lobo and Sad Widow Main, taking down Stag. The Blossom coming in from Moose without that shield. That's going to end up allowing them to push into objective number two. Now oh. a team kill ringing for the first time tonight for uh, Night Ops right there, and they're going to start pushing in with three minutes. 15 seconds on the clock to grab this last objective point. Supernova needs to come up big here with this combination. They've got the, they'll have the blizzard soon. They'll have the meteor strike as well. That needs to come up huge for them. They've got, they've got, well, they've got to hold out three minutes. That's a All massive right, time well, there bank. Comes the blizzard the blizzard and the meteor strike looking Just to get, get into one. that back line. Guardian Mad able Bang. to pick off Moose, which uh, will possibly push them back nope the bongo's coming down right now from nathan now nope. gonna follow up by violet <laughs> jar able to use the coalescence to take down guardian mad and destin divide oh, no. there's a cleanup coming out right now it was looking to come up for the side for the side of supernova but they're gonna get their firelight's gonna get squashed out right there two minutes 30 seconds on the clock and they have maybe one fight remaining to be able to get them off this cart and all they've got is this sand barrier to protect them. That's it. Luckily for them, Night Ops doesn't have any ults. Unfortunately, yeah, Supernova just seen their DPS. They go in deep, but unfortunately, their DPS got cut down before they can do anything. Oh, so and oh the no, the divine the... getting taken out first oh, in that the sand fight. Barrier. The coalescence coming out though from asleep, looking to see if they can oh, keep everything Nathan. going as much no. as possible. Violet able to follow up onto Solitude right there as the wall comes up. Stag able to get the oh, there you go. onto Nathan, and it might be just what they need to push them off. They may be able to hold on to that sound barrier just a little longer. As you see, they've swapped over now to that double shield comp with uh, Lobo already having the Gravitic Flux online. Yeah, and uh, a sleep coming up big there. That's, that that coalescence is what kept the team alive and put enough pressure onto Night Ops to force them to fall backwards through the choke point and allowed, it, it, it gave space for Supernova to finally push in and get, get, get the damage done they needed. And they've basically wasted half the time back. They're down to a minute 20 now in this attack. Oh, there's a Gravitic Flux. Oh, wow. Coming out from Lobo. Ah. Ends up getting a couple right there, but the beat drop coming in from Nautica along with Coalescence from Jar. Looking to see... Looking to keep the team in the fight. Here we go. Now, oh. come out for either side, Stag and Widowmane. Uh, oh, oh, Jar able oh, to get the first yeah. pick onto Stag, though. It looks like it's coming down. Violet coming out with the bongos and the beat drop coming in from Destin Divine. But the picks are still coming in. Moose oh, getting Moose. moved into the sky. <laughs> is, not, is not able to hold them down as Moose takes down Destin Divine. 
Stag now staggering in, but they don't have a choice at this point. They've got to stop that cart from coming in and no. will end <laughs> up being unsuccessful. Night Ops walking away with the victory this evening, three to one against Andromeda Supernova. But honestly, it, it, it was not easy. This, and what are we looking at right here? <laughs> Which okay, step possible so, uh, is possible this thing? Play. I was like, what are we looking at right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a great death awesome. kill. Great kill See, that, this is what is so infuriating as a team sometimes, is that you can get those big old plays, but really it comes down to the strategy of those micro plays as the game continues to go on. Like, it, you get those big plays, great. You get play of the game, that's great. But if you're not getting those micro plays to keep the other team from pushing in, which we continued to see over and over again from Night Ops, unfortunately, they're going to end up taking away the victory this evening. So go ahead and start blowing up the chat and telling us who your player of the match is going to be tonight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start us off. And I think at the end of the day, I'm giving it to Solitude. I think I'm going to give some tank love this evening because Solitude <laughs> either on that hog or on, or on that Sigma was just doing an incredible job, like all over the place, being able to um, use that, that, that rock all the time, stunning characters either out of ultimates or out of position so that they couldn't get the picks that they were looking to get. Um, was doing an incredible job on that hog, as we saw many times, hooking Guardian Mad right out of the air. And, yeah, and that's not really, an easy really thing good to hooks. do as a hog. Like you gotta <laughs> like line that up pretty perfectly to be able to to be able to constantly be picking a far out of the sky. So Solitude, and, you're walking away with my player of the match tonight. And really good, um, really good counterplay to Lobo and the Roadhog as well. Able to get the first hook in on fights, and typically in a Roadhog fight, mainly if you're doing it one on one, the Roadhog the hook second gets the victory. But mm -hmm. for Solitude, they were able to hook in Lobo at the start of a lot of those fights on their attack, and the team was just really well focusing Lobo down, able to pick up that first kill, and they're able to steamroll that 5v6 fight into a team fight win and keep the cart pushing forward. And as we saw, it took one and a half points of Supernova to even even stop the cart moving. So yeah, you're right. I think Solitude, really good, um, showing up really well on Rialto. I still would say that my player of the game would be Nautica. I do like seeing great support play, and Nautica was doing really well on the Mercy, on that Lucio as well, having the sound barrier at key times, just also just jumping around, being a nuisance in fights, using that boop to great effect. So I'd, I'd give my play of the game to Nautica. All right, sounds good to me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do some shout-outs right now. So if you're interested in supporting our community, be sure to hit that heart button at the top of our screen, as well as that bell. It will let you know every time that we are online. You can also hit that subscription button, $4.99, or a Twitch Prime or Amazon Prime subscription will give you access to some amazing new content that we got coming out, uh, emotes, uh, gifts, things like that, that will be accessible to y'all here in the near future. I also want to um, give a shout out to one of our partners, the U.S. Army Esports Organization, or USAE. Uh, if you're looking for Overwatch coaching or just want a side-by-side -side session with those that serve the U.S. of A, the Rose Cup is now teamed with the U.S. Army Esports Org, where six players com can complete a free registration with the USAE, and one of their GM Army teams will schedule a time to meet and work with players and team up with uh, with players up to 3,500 SR. For more information, DM USAE.Flutie on Discord to get signed up. So be sure to check out all that great information. Now going back to um, the chat, it doesn't. We got some GGs for Moose in there, <laughs> but not 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 any love for any of the players specifically. <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> so I guess I guess the player of the matches will just have to stand for this evening temporal. As always, thank you to First Night of Knee for running our production. You have been going absolutely ham, and we could not do any of this without you, buddy. And uh, I think right now our our match for tomorrow night is supposed to be Nebula Lynx versus RTP. 
uh, in the gold division, uh, which could be subject to change uh, based on some things going on in the background. And then we're into week 11. And once we start November, like we're almost in the playoffs. So I'm just, I, I don't know. This time has just kind of flown by for me. <laughs> I don't know about you, but uh, Temporal, but this is just kind of, this season has just flown by with all the great matches and uh, things that we've seen go on. So please continue to follow along because I am, I'm really interested to see what's going to be coming up in the playoffs. I'm it's, it's like seeing this match, seeing these two potential playoff candidates. I'm really excited to see what we're seeing in playoffs. Um, Night Ops setting, I think Night Ops here setting themselves up really well um, for a for a playoffs run. They've, I think they've, I feel like they've been improving over the course of the season as well. Actually, having looked at their past results, but Supernova still not out of it, still in the mix. They're mm-hmm. in the top half of the table still. So yeah, really, really looking. If this is the look, if this is the quality we can expect from. Teams that are currently sitting in the middle of the table. I'm really looking for the playoffs when you've just got the top halves oh, of the table there. I completely agree with you there. All right. Well, this is going to be it for us here at the Rose Cup. I'm Captain Jack. I'm Temporal. And we will see you all next time. <laughs>